He hath given us of His Spirit. Okay, we'll skip this one and this one. <clears throat> okay, the Holy Spirit is needed. Okay, let's read this one. One interest prevailed when they were trying to spread the, the gospel. One subject of emulation followed up all others. The ambition of believers was to reveal likeness of Christ's character and to labor for the enlargement of His kingdom. Before the disciples used to have competition. <laughs> Di ba? Pagalingan sila. But when they were, the Holy Spirit was poured out to them, they, only, they were united now in enlarging God's kingdom. Yeah? Christ is become of no effect unto you. Whosoever you are justified by the law, ye are fallen from grace. For though through the Spirit wait for the hope of righteousness by faith, this I say then, walk in the Spirit and ye shall not fulfill the last. So, there is a tug of war. There is Spirit and there is flesh. Walk in the Spirit so that you will not fulfill the last of flesh. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, wow, joy, peace, long-suffering, okay, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. Sabi kanina ang asabi, blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Be not deceived, God is not mocked, for whatsoever man soweth, he shall also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh, shall also reap flesh corruption. But he what the soweth to the Spirit shall also reap the Spirit everlasting life. Wow! Very nice verses. God is the vine and the Father is the husbandman. Every branch in me, okay, you listen my friends, that beareth not fruit, he purgeth. Why? So that it will bear more fruit. You have ministry and then you will rejected, not approved. Why? Just remember this verse. Because so that we will bear more fruit, some things don't happen as we plan. Because God allows purging so that we will bear more fruit. <clears throat> I am the vine and your branches. He that abideth in me and I in him. The same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me you can do nothing. Okay. Herein is my Father glorified that ye bear more fruit. When we bear fruit, God is glorified. And ye are disciples. Okay. Many of God, or who spin, many who sincerely consecrate their lives to God's service, are surprised and disappointed to find themselves as never before confronted by obstacles, beset by trials and perplexities. <laughs> and so we should not be surprised, though. They pray for Christ, like Christ likeness of character, for a fitness for the Lord's work, and they are placed in circumstances. Or that seem to call forth all the evil in their nature, nakakainis. Yeah? They question, is God leading us? Why do we, these all things come to us? And it is because God is leading them that these things come upon them. Trials and obstacles are the Lord's chosen methods of discipline and His appointed conditions of success. Wow! Kailangan ba natin ng quiz para makapasa? Do we need examination to pass to graduate? Okay, then trials and obstacles are quiz and examination to graduate. The nice thing is, don't worry, you can repeat. You can repeat and it's open notes. Diba? And you can open internet and Google what is God's will before I decide. Diba? You can ask mom, you can ask pastor, you can ask uh, your friends. He sees that some have powers and susceptibilities which rightly directed might be used in the advancement of His work. In His providence, He brings these persons into different positions and varied circumstances that they might discover in their character the defects, wow, which have been concealed from their own knowledge. Naku, kaya pala. He gives them the opportunity to correct. Wow! The reason God shows us our mistakes so that we can be corrected. Amazing. Amen. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> to fit them for the purpose of His service. Over often He permits the fires of affliction to assail them that they may be purified. Wow! Amazing. <clears throat> 
You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. Imagine. We don't care. We don't know, have anything to know about salvation, but God chose us. Amazing. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth truth, a fruit, that your fruit should remain, and whatsoever you shall ask of the Father in my name, He will give it to you. Ah, grave. So you want you, what you ask for the work, God will give it. If God doesn't give, it is also for your good. So whatever God's answer is, it is for our best. You have not okay, we are finished. <clears throat> And if some of the branches be broken off, thou being wild old... You know why Filipinos can go to heaven? This is the reason. Why Filipinos can go to heaven? We are not Israelites. We are not of the tribe of the Judah and Israel. But some of the branches were broken off. 